Welcome to a new episode of Discover Daily, the AI-generated podcast curated by Perplexity to satisfy your curiosity about the latest in tech, science, and culture. I'm your host, Alex, and in today's episode, we'll explore intriguing developments spanning the realms of artificial intelligence, aerospace engineering, and satirical commentary on societal trends. Kicking things off, we have an exciting update from the AI world. Anthropic, a prominent artificial intelligence startup, has appointed Mike Krieger, the co-founder of Instagram, as its new chief product officer. With his extensive experience at Instagram, where he served as the chief technology officer, Krieger is set to oversee Anthropic's product engineering, management, and design efforts. His primary focus will be to expand the company's suite of enterprise applications and make its generative AI technology, Claude, more accessible to a broader audience. This strategic move comes as Anthropic aims to compete more aggressively in the AI market against rivals like OpenAI and Google. Krieger's appointment is a significant milestone for Anthropic, which has secured substantial funding from major backers like Google, Salesforce, and Amazon. The company has raised nearly $8 billion in the past year alone, positioning it well to make substantial advancements in the AI field. With Krieger's expertise, Anthropic is poised to enhance its product offerings and user experiences, potentially giving it an edge over competitors in the rapidly evolving AI landscape. In a significant development, a bipartisan group of U.S. senators, led by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, has proposed a comprehensive roadmap for artificial intelligence legislation. The proposal includes a substantial annual investment of $32 billion in non-defense AI research and development, aligning with recommendations from the National Security Commission on Artificial Intelligence. The funding is intended to support various federal agencies, including the National Science Foundation, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and NASA, among others. The roadmap outlines several policy areas, such as enforcing existing AI laws, addressing national security risks, examining election security threats, and promoting competition. The proposal is the result of extensive consultations with industry leaders, civil rights activists, and researchers through a series of AI insight forums held over the past year. While the roadmap has been praised for its ambitious funding goals and comprehensive approach, it has also faced criticism for allegedly favoring big tech interests and lacking substantive measures to address urgent AI policy issues such as discrimination, civil rights, and worker protections. Shifting gears to the aerospace industry, Boeing's Starliner spacecraft has encountered another setback in its development. A small helium leak was detected in the spacecraft's service module, leading to a delay in its first crewed mission to the International Space Station. The leak was identified in a flange on a single reaction control system thruster, which is part of the Starliner's service module that houses 28 such thrusters essential for maneuvering the spacecraft in orbit. The helium leak, although minor and not a significant safety concern on the ground due to helium's non-combustible and non-toxic nature, necessitates the system to maintain pressure for effective operation in space. This issue has pushed the launch date from its original schedule to no earlier than May 21, 2024. In response to the helium leak, Boeing and NASA are not planning physical repairs, but will instead employ spacecraft testing and operational solutions to address the issue. This approach involves bringing the propulsion system up to flight pressurization and allowing the helium system to vent naturally to validate existing data and strengthen the rationale for the flight. Additionally, a valve failure on the Atlas V rocket, which is slated to launch the Starliner, required the replacement of a faulty pressure regulation valve on the rocket's Centaur upper stage. On a more positive note, 
Airbus has recently unveiled an innovative aircraft known as the Racer, which combines features of both helicopters and airplanes. This hybrid aircraft aims to enhance speed and stability, particularly for critical missions such as search and rescue operations. The Racer integrates traditional helicopter rotor blades with forward-facing propellers and fixed wings, allowing it to take off and land like a helicopter while achieving higher speeds similar to an airplane. It is designed to cruise at speeds over 400 km per h, significantly faster than traditional helicopters. The aircraft also features an eco-mode system that can put one of its two engines on standby during cruise flights, reducing fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. The Racer represents Airbus's commitment to innovation in rotorcraft technology, aiming to meet the growing demand for high-speed travel while addressing environmental concerns. The aircraft has already completed its first flight, and a two-year flight campaign is planned to further demonstrate its capabilities. With its advanced aerodynamics and sophisticated engine power management system, the racer is expected to be more comfortable and have longer maintenance intervals compared to conventional helicopters. Lastly, let's explore the realm of satire and social commentary. The iconic animated series South Park is set to tackle the topic of Ozempic, a diabetes medication that has gained popularity for its weight loss effects in its upcoming special titled The End of Obesity. The episode is expected to explore the craze surrounding Ozempic and its societal and cultural implications, including its use by celebrities, potential health risks like vivid dreams and gastroparesis, and the socio-economic divide in its usage. Wealthier neighborhoods have seen higher adoption rates of Ozempic compared to less affluent areas. True to South Park's style, the teaser suggests that the episode will also touch on identity politics through familiar characters changing genders, ages, and races. South Park creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone are known for their sharp and often controversial humor, and this episode is likely to continue that tradition by satirizing the Ozempic phenomenon. That's all for today's episode of Discover Daily. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to learn more about these stories, you can find links to each one in the episode description. Don't forget to subscribe to Discover Daily on your favorite podcast platform and download the Perplexity app on Android or iOS. We'll be back tomorrow with more stories to feed your curiosity. Until then, stay curious.